All righty. Very animated, very excited, very satisfied crowd here at the Jurado Hall. Watching a lot of high-quality boxing. They have not been disappointed. And this is a historic place in more ways than one. This is actually the third Jurado Hall in uh, Philippine military history because he was such a big hero, especially in World War II, one of the pioneers of uh, coastal defense. And he taught that at the Philippine Military Academy. Of course, here are some of... Uh, the heroes of the Philippine Navy. Very uh, strong bond among the Navy and Marines here in the Philippines. And uh, it's fitting that they should uh, have a fight like this. They have a tough life. And you can say we've never felt more secure. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely safe. Yes. It's, it's like feeling sick in a room full of doctors. In this uh, Corrado Hall, and you know, Ed, uh, the, the world title fight that we're bringing to the table also has a very interesting history as well. You know, it's exchanged hands so much just in the last few months. First of all, the title was actually held by Mark Anthony Bariga. Then he lost the title to Carlos Licona. Then DJ Creel won it. And just when... Samuel Salva was going to fight him. He moved up in weight. So we're hoping that the IBF title has a permanent home. But either way, a Filipino is going to walk away with it. That's the best thing about it. An all Pinoy world title fight will result in a Filipino champion. So you can see how much the belt has changed hands to set up the sequence of events. And, of course, as is standard practice in all of these uh, major fights, we have the press tour, we have a press conference, we have a weigh-in, very colorful events. And you can see the showmanship, the presentation being brought to the fore for this event. Bringing another uh, world title, IBF world title fight here. IBF World Title Eliminator, two can't miss fights, just all action type of fights. And I think off of this fight, it's just going to keep building and building and building. Salva is the number one, Skadoran number two. The experience of both boxers is very good. So exciting the fight that is going to be able to win. Magkita ko mo dito, sir, yung isang fighter at saka isang technical boxer. Si Salva yung technical dito, tapos si Taduran yung talagang warrior. Talagang kikita ko sa mga laban niya, talagang sugod na sugod to. 50-50, abot sila ng 12 rounds. Pero napakagandang laban talaga. Super ganda laban to. Si Salva parang may mas lamang siya sa skin niya. Uh, nakikita po naman natin lahat. Kahit na nandun yung ano ko kay Salva, pero kung sa Duran, di rin, para sa akin, di rin pwedeng uh, mag-kumpiyansa, mag-understimate kasi si Duran talagang nandyan at susugod, susugod at susugod. Two Filipinos going for an IBA full title. Um, there's a lot on the line. The winner goes off the big thing, possibly fighting on the Senators next card in the U.S. Um, and I just think for the for the fans, the boxing, for everything we're trying to build, it's going to be a really, really good evening. It definitely has been a good evening of boxing so far, Ed. And uh, you can see how they are really building up Philippine boxing as a whole. And as we mentioned at the top of the coverage, only the second time that two Filipinos are fighting for a world title in the Philippines. Hard to believe, but that is the gospel truth. The first world title fight involving two Filipinos happened way back in May 1925 at Wallace Field, which is now the Luneta Park, you know, when uh, Pancho Villa defended his world flyweight title against Clever Sancho. Hard to believe that it took almost an eternity for another world title fight involving two Filipinos to be staged here. In the interim, there have been two other world title fights involving two Filipinos, but they were both held in the United States. Yes. This is a great way of, you know, promoting Philippine boxing. And it's very interesting also because 
of the long, rich history of Filipino boxing. And uh, on your screens, of course, talking about defense. <laughs> That's the best defensive line. They're you defending can have. the Spratleys. That's not easy. You know, they're all having a grand time here. A lot of action will go over the other fights uh, at the end of this coverage. But, you know, let's talk a little bit about the two fighters in our main event. You know, Samuel Salva actually had to fight Rene Marc uh, Cuatro to get a title shot. Then DJ Creel vacated the title because he could no longer make the weight. That's so the now, problem. And so the IBF mandated the top two contenders to fight for the world title and that just happens to be Samuel Salva and Taduran. Salva ranked number one by the uh, IBF while Taduran is actually ranked number three. Uh, the number two ranking, there's nobody ranked by the IBF in the number two spot. That's why it's number one and number three. Because they actually change the rankings every month. Yes. So within that time period, a lot can happen. And uh, let's talk about Pe uh, Pedro Taduran's first crack at a world title. Ed. Oh, that was a good fight. Uh, he went the distance against uh, Wan Heng Menayotin of Thailand. August 2018, he lost by decision, but showed that, uh, you know, he, he has the stuff of uh, a future world champion. He's very young, can still come back. And this is where it all starts as far as uh, Pedro Taduran is concerned. If he can beat his countryman, then his uh, bid to become a world champion will be a reality. But Salva, he has other things in mind. Uh, Salva, the more uh, technical fighter of the two, Taduran, yes. has only one gear, and that's forward. And you look at the uh, tail of the tape, both men 22 years old. Taduran enjoys the height advantage, 5'4". He is a southpaw compared to the orthodox style of uh, Samuel Salva. And let's turn you over to our ring announcer, Mark Luntire. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now have the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Minimum Weight World Championship. Let us now call on the fighters here inside the ring. First, the fighter from Hearthstone Modest Boxing Gym of Valenzuela. IBF minimum weight world rank number three contender. Please welcome Pedro General Taduran. And now, let us call on his opponent in the red corner, representing Rafi Jimenez Boxing Stable of Illegal City, IBF minimum weight world rank number one contender, the silent assassin, Samuel Salva.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are now requesting everyone to please rise for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be led by Mistin Tourism Philippines and Mistin Tourism International, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kira Mana. Bayang magiliw, perlis ng silanganan, alab ng puso, sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting, sa manlulupig, di ka pa sisiil, sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bughaw. May dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagum pa'y na nagniningning Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pag may di magdidilim Lupa ng araw ng luwal, hatig pagsinta, buhay ay langit sa piling mo Aming ligaya ng pag may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the Horado Hall here in Philippine Marine Camp, Fort Bonifacio, Taguig City, Senator Manny Pacquiao's MP Promotions. In association with Joven Sports Promotions, Viva Promotions, Sandman Promotions, and Global Boxing Stars are proud to present an evening of professional boxing for the vacant IBF Minimum Weight World Championship. This is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation Chairman Dagal Peoples. Alongside with the Games and Amusements Board Chairman Abraham Khalil B. Mitra, Commissioners Ed Trinidad and Marma Sangit, and Cheaper Pro Boxing and other contact sports Jackie Cacho. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest in the 10 point must system will be Sylvester Abainza, Hill Cole, and Carlos Costa. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, ladies and gentlemen, the veteran, Atsorni Danrex Tabdasan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Hurado Hall here in Taguig City, and the millions watching around the world, let the war begin! Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with white. Official weight, 105 pounds. Professional record, an outstanding one. 13 victories with 10 knockouts, with only two defeats. He is the former world title challenger and the IBF minimum weight world rank number three contender from Hearthstone Money's Boxing Gym of Valenzuela. Ladies and gentlemen, Pedro. General Saduran! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue with black. Official weight, 105 pounds. Professional record, a perfect one. 17 victories with 10 by knockout, and he is undefeated. He is IBF, a minimum weight, world rank, a number one ten center from Rafi Jimenez Boxing Stable of Illegal City. Here is the undefeated Samuel Silent Assassin Salva. And now, once again, to give instructions, here's attorney Danrex Tapdasan. Okay, isa lang, Samuel. Pedro, aliga. Okay. Nandito na tayo. Tayo maglalaban sa loob ng labing dalawang round. Okay? Ito'y para sa kampiyonato ng buong mundo. Okay? Protektahan ang iyong sarili at 
sundin ang lahat ng utos ko, okay? Gusto ko malinis na laban. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. If you want world-class boxing, you have come to the right place. Manny Pacquiao Championship Boxing presents the International Boxing Federation Minimum Weight Championship in his traditional blue with black trim, Samuel the Silent Assassin Salva versus Pedro General Taduran. Taduran is the pressure fighter here. Loves to come forward, the South Pole. He has world title experience, going 12 rounds against one Heng Menayotin of Thailand. Falling short, but bowing to win it this time. He is the aggressor. Going strong, the, the punches glancing off the shoulders of Salva. Salva will be expressionless throughout the fight. Very technical, very mechanical, but oh, also good very versatile. Good left by Taduran. Taduran will try to overpower Salva as he has been doing so far, pushing him back, making him step on his heels. And you can see the head movement, the feints. Good left threat by Taduran. Salva has not been able to really establish his job yet. Oh! Big shot! Big shot, yes! It's a standing Three. count by Big counter shot. referee attorney Five. Donald Stapdasan. Six, Stunning seven, counter. Eight. Okay, box. Again, like we said, the oh. right straight of Salva, the bane of South Pole. And Taduran still unfazed, moving forward. He was surprised and stunned, but not really hurt. But that was a good counter shot. Yes, indeed. And you will see Taduran takes take a lot of risks in a fight just to get in close and land some clean punches salva the smaller of the oh, two oh, good, good left, left, left there and you can see the confidence in salva instantly increasing with yes. that back down he was hesitant early on allowed the dura to bully him and look at the trying to cut the ring to keep salva from running away Turn out of left straight Good exchange. Not much Salva can do now except stay away from the power punches of Taduran. He's already got this round. 10 8 with that knockdown. Yes, 10 8 round. Oh, oh good right counter again by Salva. He's really studied the rhythm of Taduran. Taduran. He's waiting for Taduran to come in. Baiting him. Oh, we have a good fight. We have a oh, good fight. Oh, we do. Taduran trying to make Salva brawl. Salva not fighting. Great first round. Salva got away with a knockdown. Takes round number one. Salva debuted in January of 2016 with a first round knockout. And three of his last four wins, however, have come by decision as opposition has gotten tougher. And let's see the highlight of the uh, opening round. There you see full-on attack by Taduran. Salva lying in wait. There's the right hand. There's that we were talking right. about. It exploded off the cheek of Taduran. The bane of all South Pole boxers. There the you right go. straight. Down goes that, El General. That's the heartbeat between the jab and the power punch. And you can see Salva. His mind continuing to work. The key for Salva is patience. Yes, indeed. Because Taduran's tendency to launch in makes him ideal for the counter right hand. So assume the role of the counter puncher. This is what Salva was able to do effectively. You know, the minimum weight class didn't exist when Pancho Villa and Clever Sancho fought. But he was basically a minimum weight yes, Pancho Villa. So four foot nine. Considered the, the greatest flyweight of all time, but these guys do that history justice. And who would have thought? And you know, after May 1925, this is only the 
second all Pinoy fight in the country. Yes, indeed. And, you know, Taduran has to be wary. Oh, good good right by Taduran. Taduran has to be wary of the counter by Salva. That's what got him into trouble in the first round. Salva and you know what ready. Taduran is doing now? He knows that Salva is waiting for that counter right hand. Now he's throwing the right hook. Taduran, the southpaw. Those minute right. adjustments. Yes. Because, because he knows does. Salva is on the lookout for that left the moment he drops that left. And you notice know Salva is able to duck but not throw back. He's not able to hit back anymore. So this is round number two. Pedro Taduran, of course, when he fought uh, Meneotin, Meneotin was already 50 and 0, and they fought in Thailand. Okay. A slip, no knockdown. Very active second round. Taduran constantly moving forward. A warning from referee Dan Rechtapdasan. The low blows. Good shot there by Salva. Sneaked away with the right. Oh, again, oh there another right go again. Hand from Salva. He's, he, he's forgot, forgetting the jab now, just throwing that big bomb. He's waiting, waiting for Taduran to come in. Look at that. Good right straight. Although, just great the tempo here for Salva. Going downstairs. But neither of these guys is really a heavy body puncher. Both headhunters. And you can see Taduran trying to pin Salva along the ropes. He's get, trying to get the range, but Salva is not cooperating. Salva backing off, waiting for his turn. Beautiful the way Salva blocks the punches. There's another right hand by yeah, Salva. Nice feet. Nice feet there by Salva. There's a sneaky uppercut from Taduran. You're hearing uh, some uh, Cebuano in the background. That, uh, the southern dialect most widely spoken in the Philippines. Even off the ropes, Salva is fighting well. He got out of the ropes very quickly. And you see Tadura again back into that stance. He is going to get caught. And on the second round. Very good round for both fighters. And you see the quality of boxing. Brought to you by Manny Pacquiao Championship Boxing. These two guys are really world class. And, you know, we have to keep saying that Tadura only really lost to Meneotin because he is just a one-of-a-kind fighter. 53-0, Meneotin, who had previously broken the record of Floyd Mayweather Jr. He was 50-0 going into that fight. And watch this, Salva again, lying in wait, defending Look his at the uh, patience. face very well. Look Hello. at the way he blocks the punches. And there's the right hand! Just a sliver of an opening. And look at the defense. And you know, of the silent assassin. Taduran playing the numbers game here, throwing a lot of punches, hoping some of them will make a difference. But you know, one thing we can say, the stamina of these two boxers is beyond question. They both want that IBF minimum weight crown. Salva leading Taduran around the ring. Taduran trying to catch Salva. Taduran, the bigger fighter, the brawler. Salva, the more scientific. You can see Taduran trying to move his head as he comes in. Yes. To avoid getting nailed oh, by got, that right hand. He got tagged that time. And always Salva. Oh, right. Looking for more room. Look at the eyes of Salva. Another right hand. And he darts in and out so quickly after throwing punches. Going to the midsection as a distraction. Covering up so well. Couple of uppercuts now from Salva. He has avoided so much that Taduran has thrown at him. And we're only in round number three. Taduran is swinging for the fence. And he, he's really expending so much energy here. Look at the way Salva blocks the shots. You know, the movement from the waist back, the shoulder. Oh. Taduran trying to pin him against the ropes. 
Maduran applying non-stop pressure. Some of the people in the crowd think oh, that Salva may be hurt hook, here. Good left hook by Taduran. And the pressure is on Salva. Starting Salva. to succumb a little bit. Some tense moments for Salva. Taduran just pulling it on. And Salva, very little offense. He's tired. Staggered. Oh, boy. He has to use more of the ring to get away from Taduran. Taduran will not let him. Taduran Salva turning the tables. Taduran keeping the pressure up. Salva trying to fire back. But it's not enough to deter Taduran. Taduran bloodying the nose and Salva of Salva. Salva, Salva is in big eyed. trouble, Bill. Salva is in trouble. He's got his guard down. He's glassy-eyed, trying to shake it off. Oh, right hand by... There's plenty of time left. But good left. uppercut by Salva. Salva oh, boy. Can he hold on? And they are in the middle of the ring. There's blood all over the face of Salva. Salva in trouble. And he knows it. What a change in momentum. The oh, that's right. Salva Salva's in big trouble. Salva. Salva's in big trouble, Bill. Salva, Salva relentless attack by Tadura. That clocks him with the left. Oh, boy. Salva slowing down visibly. Referee Tadura, a referee, a damn mixed up dozen, just letting them fight. Salva is still fighting back, but the punches have lost their steam, Bill. That is the true. momentum is now with. El General Taduran. I will oh, be amazed left that Salva survives this round. Can he survive? Another left straight. No! Oh, boy. What a round for Pedro Taduran. My goodness. The pressure of El General Taduran. They also call him the rattlesnake. And boy, what a fight! And the rattlesnake makes a sound before it kills you. And that is the sound the of left leather hook. meeting meat. There was a left hook that got Salva into trouble. But great presence of mind by Salva to keep moving. Try to not take the punches full on. My goodness. Now, if you are Samuel Salva, how do you come back from that? Try to move. Do not engage. This is for 12 rounds. And this is for a world title, Ed. But the problem is, you can already sense the pressure that Taduran will show. And you know that blood dripping out of Salva's nose, that's gonna affect his breathing, gonna affect his stamina down the line. Round number four. And Taduran knows his prey is wounded. And you can uh, hear the handlers of uh, Salva saying Hawak in English, hold, hold. Here is the door like a raging bull. And you know, Salva is not yet completely clear headed after that pounding he took in round number three. He is in trouble. You know, Salva is doing the right thing one, two, then step back, but the pressure of Tadura is just relentless. Clash of heads, clash of heads. <laughs> Referee Dan next up, Dazzle with a warning there. Warning, huh? Box. And you see that nosebleed is now bothering Salva. He's trying to back away, but he's backing into the corner. And when a fighter seeks refuge along the ropes, you know he's tied. Oh, there's a left by Taduran. And Salva is backing away, not to create room for himself, but to stay Taduran away is from Taduran. Into the body. Taduran going to the body, going to the head, trying to hit anything on Salva. He is throwing him in the kitchen sink. Salva clocked Taduran. Salva, Salva in big trouble. A big target for Tadura. Tadura oh, hits him in the head. Oh, Salva is maybe ready to go down, Bill. Wild attack now by Pedro Tadura. Tadura, Tadura Salva is very little by way of response. Salva is trying to hold on. Tadura, non-stop, piston-like action. Throwing bombs left and right. You don't want to be in the ropes. How is but Salva, Salva has staying to go, up? Bill. He's getting clapped. Salva he is getting clapped. Oh, he he's over. Back pedaling. Salva in Unbelievable, deep, deep trouble. This is a bombardment by El General. Could the darkness be closing in on Salva? He fights back, but it's just a token. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Another stop. headbutt. Another headbutt. Time. 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 But Salva, boy, can he still salvage this One fight? Point 
Yes, because it appeared, to, it appeared to be an intentional. It appeared to be an intentional. He was trying to thwart the attacks of Tadura, and there was no other way but a headbutt. He was that is illegal. Trying to buy himself some time here. Good call by referee Tapdasan. He knew it was intentional. And that will already cost Salva the round, but Tadura wants to finish the fight. Tadura going strong. Pinning him against the rope. Salva trying to get his legs back under him. But not much by way of counter firepower. The crowd on its feet. Some of oh them boy. have already surrounded the ring. Unbelievable Tadura non -stop. Here, it is again. Here we go. 30 seconds. Can he hold on? He's got hands of stone clocking. Salva left, right, and center. Tadura pouring on the heat. Oh, oh big right hand by by Salva. Let's see if it's enough to chase him, Tadura. Unlikely. He is down. The fuel tank of Salva. He is running on empty. Oh, big left by Tadura. Tadura. Salva manages to stay upright. I don't know how he survived that round. The Unbelievable. Heart, the heart of Salva. But Tadura, my God, the pressure this guy is showing. Well, Unbelievable. We're in the right place for medals of valor, Ed. Oh, boy. You know, this is something I have never seen. A confused look on the face of Samuel Salva. There's the headbutt. And yes, it looked intentional. Referee Tapdasan making the correct call to take away a point. And look at this. Nothing but arms and legs. Salva. Nothing but arms and legs. But still trying to fire back. But the punches have lost their snap. And look at the series of shots. Tadoran look is at just the legs of Salva. Him. You know, bleeding, battered. There you see the headbutt. So it was as if he was knocked down because that's a 10 8 round yes, because indeed. there's a point deduction. Can Salva answer the fight? Answer the bell. I don't think he's going to answer the bell. I don't think he's, he's, I not don't think he's going to get up. The fight he's is over. Up stool. That's it. Pedro Taduran wins the IBF minimum weight championship. The crowd. Celebrating Taduran recovering from a first round knockdown. El General marches all over the silent assassin. You know, but General, El General, he just got a major promotion. Put in an additional star. The IBF belt for Pedro Taduran, the proud son of Libon Albay province is now a world boxing champion and you know some people were, were criticizing him he's monotonous he just does the same thing over and over again but if you're steamrolling somebody yes. and it works and he has also tarnished the record of samuel salva he just didn't stop coming he was just too big he too refused strong. to be frustrated by the first round knockdown he kept coming. He took risks. He got nailed by several counter rights. Oh, took and a lot of headshots. The yes. loved ones of uh, Pedro Tadura, the new IBF minimum weight champion, making good on his second attempt at a world championship bout. The circuitous way around to get it. And this is... But what a fight. Yes, indeed. You know, you, you know, styles make fights, and Samuel yes. Salva was the perfect antithesis, but he just took too much. And there is your new champion. Volume, power, and quality in the punches of Pedro Taduran all throughout this fight. And look at him celebrate. Frustrated no longer. This is Maddie Pacquiao Championship Boxing. Only the second time in boxing history that two Filipinos have fought for a world title in the Philippines. It was worth the wait. We got a good fight. Pedro Taduran stopping Samuel Salva. And this was raw power over yes. sophistication. Ed. Salva could not answer the bell. 
for the fifth round. It was remarkable that he had survived the previous yes. two. The crowd. We have a winner by technical knockout and new IBF minimum weight world champion, Pedro General Daduran. And there you, you go, Pedro Tanduran joining our list of incumbent champions bill, which yes, includes indeed. Manny Pacquiao, Nonito Donaire Jr., Jerwin, and Cajas. The latest name in the list, Pedro Tanduran, IBF, minimum weight champion. Well-deserved victory. He, he, the work rate, Ed, the work the rate, work the rate. power, the risks he took in this fight. Here we go. First Let's of all, congratulations, our new. Okay, let them celebrate. Celebrate first. Okay, first of all, congratulations, Pedro, our new IBF minimum weight world champion. First of all, anong uh, anong pagkakamdam mo? How do you feel? Masaya masaya po ako sa nanalo po ako ngayong gabi. Na nagpapasalam po ako sa panginoon na pinagkalub niya sa akin itong tagumpay at saka sa mga nagsusuporta sa akin mga pamilya ko, trainer, at saka mga manager ko. Nagpapasalam po ako sa inyo na walang sawang pagsusuporta sa akin. Thank you po sa MPA promotion. Sir Manny Pacquiao, thank you po. Basically, uh, he said he's so happy that uh, he was given this opportunity to fight for a world title. Uh, na, ngayon, uh, anong masasabi mo? Si Samuel, ikaw rank number three and then si Salva rank number one. Nasurpresa ka ba dahil, kumbaga, kung tutusin, parang tinuturin ng marami na underdog ka dito. Maraming pumapabor kay Salva. Nasurpresa ka ba na gano'n ang naging outcome ng laban? Oh, nag, hindi naman po ako na... Uh, Nagpapasalamat din po ako na, na kaming dalawa nagkataon na naglumalaban na pagkakataon ko, pangalawang pagkakataon ko na lumaban ng world title na nung una hindi ko nasurte yan pero ito ngayon na natagumpay ko na ito, itong labay, pinagsikapan ko po sa pag-insayo. He said he wasn't surprised so, with the outcome because he has uh, an experience with uh, fighting with a world title. And thank you so much. Congratulations once again, Pedro. Now, let us uh, interview his uh, uh, manager, promoter, and tra trainer. Uh, first, uh, Sir Art Monis. Sir Art, ano ibig, uh, anong, anong, uh, gano'ng kahalaga sa itong panalo nito ngayon, world champion na yung bata? Sobra po, sir. Sobrang sobra po dahil lahat naman na inaasam ng mga manager, trainer, boxer, ito yung world champion na isang uh, pieces lang dumating sa buhay ng isang boxing hero. Ito ay pinagsikapan namin lahat kami na team. Finally, after a long time, Sir Art, ito na yung, uh, ito na yung pinakamimithin ninyo. Ano sa tingin mo yung, uh, yung future ninyo uh, ngayon na uh, world champion na si Pedro? Ay, masayang masaya po, Sir, dahil po tinakalog ng aming pangyayang pa, ating Pahinong Diyos, so, para kay Pedro, para sa amin na lahat na team. So, lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa amin, lalo kay Pedro. Buong puso namin po salamat, lalo-lalo po kay Sir Manny, si Nato Manny Pacquiao, maraming salamat. Binigyan mo ng pagkakataon itong mga kababayan natin. Mabilang Sir Piba, Sir Piba, Sir Jim Gibbons, maraming salamat. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Sel. Thank you very much. Uh, Sir. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, congratulations, our newly crowned IBF World Super Minimum Weight uh, Champion, Samuel Salva. And uh, the newly crowned champion will have an official photo op with the IBF and president, the new Mr. Daryl Peoples. IBF minimum weight champion with the IBF president, Daryl Peoples, celebrating his uh, victory. This win caps a great night of boxing here at the Hurado Hall. And that is the kind of fighter that fans like it. Non-stop brawling. All action. All forward action. Let's and take a look at some highlights, yes. of course. Great Let's look entrance. at the highlights of the fight. Vegas style entrance for both fighters. And you can see him taking it to Salva. He was really hunger personified. Salva countering well in the first round. That was a standing eight count given to Taduran. Perfect but shot. Taduran making the adjustments in the second round. And by the third round, it had just taken its toll on Salva. The complexion of the fight changed completely. Taduran took risks. In fairness, Despite the knockdown, 
He continued to pummel, continued to come forward. And look at the blitzkrieg of punches from Pedro Tadura. And the bloody face of Sava. The intentional headbutt. That was a big now now. A desperate attempt to save himself. Yes, because there was no other way. Look at the ferocity. He was hunger personified, oh, he, Tadura, he in this fight. He wanted this so badly. And he did say in the post-fight interview that I really wanted to win. Unbelievable display of power, tenacity, and determination by Pedro Taduran. General gets that long overdue promotion to IBF. Minimum weight, champion of the world. And we'll be back to wrap up this night of boxing in just a short while.